How many trapezoids do you see in this picture? Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and Trapezoids. I'll get to the answer to the original question in just a moment, but let's first define a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides and one pair of non-parallel sides. A trapezoid has four sides, which makes it a quadrilateral. A trapezoid only has one pair of parallel sides, so it is not considered a parallelogram. Let's take a look at this house. Do you see any trapezoids? Yes, the roof is. Is this geometric shape right here a trapezoid? No, because it does not have one pair of parallel sides. The base of a trapezoid is created by two parallel sides. Notice that the two bases are parallel. The non-parallel sides are called legs. The sum of the interior angles of a trapezoid equal 360 degrees. The angles on each side are supplementary, which means they add up to 180 degrees. A trapezoid is a closed figure, therefore it has four corners, which are called vertices. The median is a segment that connects the midpoint of two legs. The median is parallel to the bases and equals half the length of the two bases. Therefore, you can find the length of the median by adding the length of the two bases and divide by two. Let's take a look at two types of trapezoids. A right trapezoid has two right angles that are next to each other. This is called consecutive. An isosceles trapezoid has two equal legs, which results in the diagonals being equal. The base angles are congruent, or equal. You can find the area of a trapezoid by taking one half base, one, plus base two times the height. The height is not the side length, but a line that is perpendicular to the base. This is important. In order to find the perimeter, just add the length of the four sides. A plus B plus C plus D. Let's get back to the original question. The original picture has seven trapezoids. Here they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. If you'd like to know more about trapezoids, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. It will help if you can share and give us a thumbs up.